Hey Taylor, you're driving. Hell yeah. Wow, you take forever to get up to Taylor. Probably go. We need to be back for fourth hour on our test. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. go. No, I gotta like, go to the gym. I I can't be late for this test. No, uh, like let, this. Let's get out of here right now. Like, let's go. Someone's gonna call us in. Well, you. We just need to go. Lila. <laughs> Someone needs to do something with Lila. We cannot take her back to school like this. Oh, well, you can get like. No, right, yeah, right you got this. in. You got in. Now get out. Oh no. Yes. There's no way back to school on that. Oh my god. <laughs> Lila, oh my. Oh, Lila. Lila, squirt, no, oh my, squirt, you're. I got you. Taylor, oh, oh my god. No, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Can we please, can we please just go back to school? No, no, no. No, 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 oh my god. I'm walking. No, 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 Lyle, no. Like, walk yourself. Can I drive? No, I don't drive. No, I should drive. No, oh, Lila. Lila, you guys know that I'm not going to be able to drive. I can drive. I, I'm invincible. I can do. No, I can do you really can't. Drive. Alan is the best driver. I'm dizzy. Oh don't diss him. You guys don't even know what's going on. I do. I you know. Know. Yes. Yes. You guys don't no. know anything because you no, didn't like, have guys, fun. I really need to drive. If you had fun, you would know. Close it. Hey, can I have the yeah. key? I can drive. I I can drive. No, I can let drive. me. I can drive. Taylor, I, I, I can it's drive. fine. I can drive. Come on, I can drive. You can't even walk on this line. Can we drink more, please? I don't want to 
want to so go. Can we have those? No, I got it. I got it. He got it. I trust you, Taylor. I trust you. This is the one time. Yeah, I know. We gotta get back. It's not that far. Oh shit! It's not that far. Lila, we don't want a picture. Oh my Lila! gosh, Taylor, this Woo! is not okay. That's right, Taylor. Someone Why? should let Why? me drive. Yeah. No. No. no, oh my god, no. <laughs> oh my god. So oh my the pond probably called us in. Yeah, guys, we really need to get back to school and get to class no, so that no one catches us. It's okay. Drinking no, for we're going to be okay. Guys, can we do this every single day? No. 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 We just no. ran that stop no. It's okay. It's okay. It's no. no. Lila, get back. Lila, just no. Yeah. Hawk it up, no. people. Hawk it up. No. You're my best friend. Do not hit these people. Yes. No. No, 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 Taylor. 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 Tayl
Okay, you can see one person thrown. Okay, yeah. does everyone appear to be completely awake? No, no, the, the, the one's on the floor, she's, she's not moving, she's not breathing, I, I can't see her. I, can you get to her? No, I, I can try. Okay, are you, are you hurt? My head is bleeding really bad and I don't, I'm, I am seeing things. Okay, all right. Are there any obvious injuries? ASIC Fire, ASIC PD, um, Medic 7, you're responding there's blood everywhere. to okay. one vehicle, car, accident, uh, car versus tree, bleeding? multiple victims, no, appears to be serious yes, injuries. Yes. Okay, like I said, my partner has already said help to you. I want to what is your name? Oh. My name is Stacy. Stacy, you're doing a good job. Just keep taking it. Thank you. Okay. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Where are you at right now? Um, and I'm laying in front of the car and I got... Mike 7, we're en route. Can you just dispatch your missile, please? Get out of the car. I think I see... Mike 7, dispatching ES1. Okay, just let me know when they're right there with you. I don't Do another unit to... Okay, sounds so like there's right there with you. multiple victims. Okay. Okay, just don't move. Mike 7, affirmative, please. Just get to the most comfortable position, okay? Okay. EMS 1. Medic right, 2, just, just, responding to okay, one vehicle, right, motor vehicle you accident. Aztec High School. Multiple victims. Appears to be serious injuries. 24297. 24297. 28, Copy 97. 24297. Aztec Engine 2, Aztec Rescue 1 is on scene. Engine 2 and Rescue 1 on scene. Medic 2, where are we responding? Medic 2 on scene. 2420, we do have multiple injuries. We do still have 110 on scene. We'll need to back the dice. Copy EMS and fire on scene as well. Medic 7, we're on scene. Medic 7 on scene. Okay. EMS 1 on scene. Thank you, copy on
जी Go ahead, medic two. To be advised, we're in emergent with two patients from an MVC out in Aztec today. We have a young 16-year-old male with possible LOC. He is fully immobilized. He does look like he's got some bruising and swelling to the upper right quadrant. Um, he's alert at this time. We have a set of vitals. He's got a pressure of about 80 over 20. He's, we have an IV established at him on O. We're less than three minutes out. Patient number two is a 16-year-old female. She was an unrestrained rear passenger. She is unresponsive at this time. She has uh, laceration to her forehead. She's got some bruising on her upper right quadrant. Uh, we're bringing her in. She is intubated at this time. We'll be there in less than three minutes. Call level two trauma alert. Patient number one and a level one on patient number two. Copy that, medic two. We have no questions, orders, or suggestions. We will have trauma ready for you on arrival. Copy. backseat driver complains of pain right upper quad um, absent lung sounds on the right best blood pressure I could get was 80 by palp who's been setting in the low 90s okay, smooth okay, one, two, three. no neck no back pain positive LLC um, heart rate's been a little tacky like 130 um, no pelvic pain what's his name? Cal. 
Kelly. How are you doing? Where do you hurt? Okay, I'm going to take this off. I'm sorry. I think we need to control its airway. So let's intubate. Can we get set up for that? Let's draw some it. meds. 16 gauge right here in the face. Right. Lung sounds no lung sounds? Okay. What do you want to intubate with? Let's do 25 of atomidate. Okay. And let's do 80 of rocuronium. Let's intubate, and I think we're going to need a chest tube. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. Are you ready? Yes. Um, Can you administer the medications? Okay. All right, great. Tom Nate's in. Sucks is in. All right, we stop breathing. Let's bag him up. Okay, let's intubate. Okay, all right, gotcha. All right, okay. All right, let's bag him up. Will you, will put you him, bag so I can uh, yep. listen? Put him on the vent. Put teeth in your pocket, please? No. Okay. Okay. All right, you got it. All right. Okay. So. No epigastric sounds, but I still have no more sounds on that side. Okay. Well, we need to get him to CT scanner, but I think we need to put a chest tube in first. All right. All right. Make the incision. All right. Chest tube. So we've got Kaylin here. We'll go ahead and walk you back this way. Um, he's very sick. He was involved in a car accident. I don't know if you guys were made aware of that. Um, we have gone ahead and put a tube in his throat to help him breathe. Um, he wasn't breathing effectively on his own. Um, so Dr. Young is uh, with him right now. Um, we're getting ready to do an ultrasound. Looks like he probably has some bleeding into his chest and his belly. So we're going to try to confirm that. And then, uh, and then we're going to go from there. So we'll just take you right over here to where Dr. Young, this is Kaylin's parents, Dana and Stan. Hi, I'm Dr. Young. I'm one of the emergency room physicians. Um, your son was involved in a very bad motor vehicle accident. Um, we, uh, uh, he stopped breathing and we had to control his airway by putting a, a, a tracheal tube in. I'm just doing an exam right now to see if he has any internal injuries. The ultrasound. I am seeing some, some free fluid, so that would indicate some bleeding. Um, could be uh, liver, spleen, um, but I think he needs to go to the operating room. His vital signs are somewhat unstable. Um, he also has a collapsed uh, lung, a, a pneumothorax, and put a chest tube in it. Okay, so he'll need to go to the operating room. Um, yeah. I'm so sorry. We didn't mean for this to happen. Thank you. 
Hey guys, are you ready for a report? Yep. So this is a 17 female. She was a unrestrained rear passenger. She was unresponsive on scene. Uh, en route, she stopped breathing, so we had to intubate her. Parents for Kinsey? Courtney? Hi hey folks. Uh, my name is Jordan. I'm a supervisor here in the ER. Uh, I'm going to put you in the consult room right here. Uh, Kenzie is here and she's, uh, Dr. Young is working with her right now. She's very sick. Um, I'll have one of our chaplain staff come and sit with you and we'll update you as soon as we can. Art will be in with you in just a minute. Hello, my name is Art. I'm one of the chaplains here. And uh, we have your daughter. What's her name? Kenzie. Kenzie. And what are your names? Jojo. Jojo. Joseph. And jo Joseph. Okay, I can remember. I don't know much about her situation. Dr. Young is going to be in uh, shortly. I just heard that she's hurt really bad. It's important for you to be here with him right now. And, and bless you as you give your love, and we'll, we'll wait for Dr. Young's uh, information. Okay. We don't know any medical history, meds, or allergies. Got some bruising to the upper right quadrants. And right. she was the one of the four in the back. Okay. Well, we need to get her over to the CT scanner as quickly as possible. Got a controlled airway. Can we call it the CT scanner? Yeah, CT's ready. ready. She braided, braided down into a systole while we were over there. Started compressions. Okay, and right now she's in a systole. Yes. Okay. Looks like her pupils are fixed and dilated. What's, what's the rhythm we have now? Still a systole on the monitor. For a while. All right. I saw. Uh, I, I looked at the CAT scan. Looks like that her that she has some brain herniation. I spoke with the neurosurgeon. Um, he's he's saying that there's really nothing that can be done. Does anybody object to calling it? No. no. All right. Time of death: 10:24. This is Jojo and Joseph. Doctor Young, this is Adam, emergency room physician. I'm so sorry to tell you, but your daughter, you know, was involved in a very bad motor vehicle accident. It looks as though um, she sustained a very serious head injury. And she, um, I'm, I'm sorry to tell you, but we've ceased uh, resuscitative efforts. Uh, there's just nothing, nothing more we can do. And, and she's died. So my name's Jean. I've been with her the whole time. Would you care to know, see her, hold her hand? Okay.
what you've witnessed this morning was all staged. But what I hope you understand is what happened really does happen every day. It happens with a combination of youth, the feeling of in in invincibleness, and it also happens with a mixture of alcohol on top of that. What we never want to see and what we have to see, what the firefighters you've seen who worked, the firefighters, the paramedics who work and what they see every day is young lives that are wasted with a combination of alcohol and a combination of foolishness. The Every 15 Minutes program is designed because every 15 minutes somewhere in America someone will die as a result of an alcohol-related death. We don't want any of you to be that statistic. The firefighters and the paramedics that work tirelessly to save your lives don't always save them. And the key that can prevent all of this is you making a decision in your life to say, I'm not going to do that. I don't want to be that person. I do not want to be that person that gets involved in the parties, gets with the alcohol, and ends up dead. Throughout the day, they'll be pulling people from your classes as a symbol of somebody dying and not coming back. I hope that you'll take and really think about it and think, if this is my friend and they're not coming back, it's not a reset, we can't rewind, we can't start over, they don't come back. From this point, I go to a home and make a notification that a loved one, that a child has died. And to your parents, no matter if you're 18, 16, or 29, you will be their child. As you go back to class, I'm wanting you to start thinking. I'm wanting you to start thinking for your life to make the choices that are smart. Please consider this because these people will come back. But when crashes happen, and it is this dramatic, they do not come back. And there is no reset. We're going to dismiss you now back to your classes. And I ask that you take the time to think throughout the day and make the choices that are going to be beneficial to you in your future. Thank you. My mom, Martha. Steven, Principal Jeff, nice to meet you. Sheriff's Department. How are you doing? Officer Joy Blake. And hi. You are? Martha Garcia. Martha. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I unfortunately am here on some very sad news. Lila was involved this morning in a, a drunk driving accident from another drunk driver. And uh, she was killed in that crash. And I am so sorry for your loss. But she was at school. Yes, they, we don't know exactly why they had left. Maybe to go get something to eat or whatever. And they're in a, the driver of the vehicle was intoxicated, lost control, and went into a tree. <coughs> and Lila was killed. And I'm so sorry. She was a beautiful young lady. I had her as a student last year in my class. Amazing, sweet young lady. I'm so. <laughs> So sorry for your loss. <laughs> Officer Blake was the first on scene. He's going to explain to you um, what, what happened. I know you probably have a lot of questions. Um, and what will we go from here? Very, very sorry for your loss. Uh, we were the first on scene. I will tell you that the paramedics worked as hard as they could. She was trapped in the vehicle for a while. They did get her out of the vehicle and they worked very, very hard to keep her alive. She 
just was not strong enough to make it at this point. Uh, the body's been taken to San Juan County to the hospital. It's at the morgue there. They'll determine whether or not an autopsy needs to be done. That determination will be made by OMI, not by myself. You can contact them and make arrangements after that. Uh, I am, again, sorry for your loss. This is, again, another alcohol deal. It's a tragic thing. I don't know whether she was drinking or not. We do know that the driver was intoxicated. Milo was an amazing young lady, and it's uh, just a tragedy that I'll fall again has taken one of our priceless precious. Hey, man, we're so sorry for your loss. And if there's anything we can do in processing any questions that you have, please don't hesitate to contact myself or Officer Blake, and we'll be here to walk with you through this tragedy. Anything else, Officer? Russell. This is her. Oh my God. 